Hours after a garbage truck crashed into a house in Aetna, it's finally upright and back on its wheels. That truck went out of control this afternoon and slammed into a home just off Route 8. Good evening, I'm Ken Rice. A mother and two kids in that house escaped injury. Their home now is likely to be condemned. Jennifer Brasso has been following the story for us all evening. Jennifer. Ken, two big developments. So the garbage truck, it has been towed away short time ago and Route 8 northbound lanes are back open after being shut down for hours. But Ken, just looking at this wreckage, you never would have thought that anyone would walk away from this. The fire chief calling it a miracle. It's incredible that nobody was seriously injured, not only in the house, but somebody walking down the sidewalk or crossing the street or and, um, you know, I mean, it's just, it really is a, a miracle. Surveillance video captured the wild scene in Aetna. A garbage truck county hauling out of Westmoreland County flew down Catanning Street, veered onto Spang Alley, and slammed into this house. The force so powerful it ripped off the first floor where a four-year-old boy, Bishop, was sleeping. His mom, Melissa Koski, and her two-year-old daughter, Amelia, were in an upstairs bedroom. It was like a loud bang. You didn't feel the shake. We ran downstairs. Amazingly, no one was hurt. That's all I'm added. Everything else is replaceable. Edna Volunteer Fire Department Chief Greg Porter said the passenger jumped out of the truck before it hit the house. The driver was still inside. He suffered some minor injuries and is recovering in the hospital. The uh, garbage truck had a mechanical failure coming down Catanning Street, um, was picking up speed. After hitting the house, the garbage truck went through a guardrail and flipped on its side and landed on Route 8. Northbound lane shut down while a heavy wrecker finally got the truck upright. Firefighters stabilized the house, fearing it could further collapse. Michelle Kelly lives with her daughter, Melissa, and her grandkids. She worries what they will do now. Where I'm going to go, what we're going to do, how I'm going to do it. I'm just a mess. And tonight, the Red Cross is helping out that family. They've lived here for about four years. They are concerned what's the next step. A friend has set up a GoFundMe account. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK News. All right, Jennifer, thank you.